Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bonaventure, a Franciscan bishop and doctor of the Church. Let us pray in this Mass that, like St. Bonaventure, we may also offer our lives in service of God and of His people. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us be sorry for our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah 
son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Put your house in order, for you are about to die. You shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. O Lord, remember how faithfully and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. In three days you shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add fifteen years to your life. I will rescue you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil, that he might recover. Then Hezekiah asked, What is the sign that I shall go up to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This will be the sign for you from the Lord that he will do what he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway to the terrace of Ahaz. Go back the ten steps it has advanced. So the sun came back the ten steps it had advanced. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said, In the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, 
and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, God values life. Our life, your life, is valuable to God. And this is what we see in our readings today. In our first reading, King Hezekiah was severely sick. And God, through the prophet Isaiah, tells Hezekiah to prepare for his death. But Hezekiah prayed to God, and God looked upon Hezekiah with mercy, so much so that God gave Hezekiah 15 more years to live. By extending the life of Hezekiah, God shows how he values human life, especially the life of Hezekiah. That is why in thanksgiving to God, Hezekiah uttered the words that we said in our responsorial psalm today, You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. In our gospel today, Jesus engages in a debate with the Pharisees because of what the disciples did on a Sabbath. The disciples of Jesus were hungry, and so they started picking the heads of grain and ate them, something that was forbidden on a Sabbath. The Pharisees tells Jesus that his disciples were violating the Sabbath law by doing something that is prohibited on a Sabbath. But Jesus argues that his disciples were hungry. And even during the time of David, they did something that was not lawful in order to feed David and the hungry companions and his hang hungry companions. Here we see how Jesus defends a basic human need to eat. The disciples were hungry and so they must eat. Jesus defends the life of his followers. My dear brothers and sisters, God values our life. Do you value your life? 
Ang Diyos ng buhay ang siyang nagbigay sa atin ng buhay. Kaya pinapahalagahan ng Diyos ang buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Pero paano ba natin pinapahalagahan ang ating buhay? Paano nating inaalagaan ang ating buhay? Paano natin ipinapakita sa Diyos na ang buhay na ibinigay niya sa atin ay may halaga para sa atin? Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Bonaventure who lived in the 13th century. He came from a wealthy Italian family, but he decided to follow the footsteps of St. Francis of Assisi. He entered the Franciscan order. Bonaventure was well-educated. He was very intelligent. He taught at the University of Paris. He wrote many biblical commentaries, many spiritual treatises. He is considered as the Thomas Aquinas of the Franciscans. And because of his brilliance, he was given the title Seraphic Doctor, a, pro, a, a very good teacher of our faith. And yet, despite all this, Bonaventure lived a life of simplicity and poverty. By offering his life to God, and by offering his talents, his capabilities for the service of the people of God, Bonaventure valued his life. Valuing one's life is not just about taking care of our bodies or feeding our bodies. St. Bonaventure teaches us that the ultimate way of valuing one's life is to offer it for the service of God and others. That is how St. Bonaventure valued his life. My dear brothers and sisters, how do you value yours? Please stand. Let us pray that with Christ we may worship our Father in heaven by our faith, our love, and our compassionate mercy. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms, and outward observances, but people with a heart to do what they have to do as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations of the world may learn to respect and help one another, not at the expense of each other, but on the basis of justice and solidarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that inspired by the mercy of Christ, we may not condemn those who fail, but give them chances in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those suffering may find help from those people with power and means to lighten their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead may now find rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers. And we also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass.
Lord God, you do not ask for any other sacrifice than sincere repentance, trusting faith, and serving love. Give us strength and stay with us now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bonaventure and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of Blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.